Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. But yesterday, everyone had... So, I don't know. We're, I don't know if I even want to start there, Johnny. <laughs> this is about you. We're talking about why people are mad at you. Let's, let's start there. You want to do that? I think, you know, people are always mad at me. Like, with what I talk about on YouTube, I'm not super controversial, Hank. I mean, mm -hmm. I kind of stay right in the middle. And sometimes there's people that are mad at me because they say that I'm riding the fence because I do look at an entire issue. I'm not so far in one direction. Trump train 2020. Mm -hmm. And people get mad at me over that stuff because I do. I'm old enough. You and I, Hank, Hank we both have a little bit of tread worn off the tires. We are not spring chickens. Mm -hmm. And the older we get, the more we can say, you know what? Ain't nobody all the way right there's no one direction it's not all good all bad mm -hmm. and so i get in trouble for that yeah yesterday here's what happened yesterday i did a video or day before yesterday i did a video just talking about the brianna taylor case it is a mess the ballistics reports are now in i covered this a month before the national media would even touch it and mm -hmm. i said yeah the apartment's probably shady. Kenneth Kenneth Walker's probably shady. She was probably shady. That doesn't mean they needed to be gunned down in their beds in the middle of the night without due process and all of the things that protect us as citizens. Oh, I don't know, four words, innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. And so yesterday I just said that and people got so mad. Not everybody, but there was enough to be able to talk about it again today mm -hmm. that people were hitting me saying, oh, and the response was was really strong, Hank. It was, she was on drugs or was pushing drugs. She deserved to die. All thugs need to die. She was pushing drugs. She needed to die. Okay, maybe she needed to be reprimanded or held responsible for putting drugs into her community. I don't know. I'm not mm -hmm. the law, but we do have, what's the two words? Do Due process. process. Well, mm, not according to Trump sometimes. Stop. Yes. Don't do it. Uh -uh. No, I'm not chasing Trump. that. Uh, I talk about, listen, like you said, um, I talk about Trump, anyone else out there that I feel needs being talked about. I don't care if it's someone in the gun community that does something crazy. I, I say this all the time. If you do something crazy, we can talk about you. If you're putting yourself, if I'm putting myself out there, people can, people can have something to say, right? You know, uh, yeah, and I do agree. And with with Trump and what you're talking about is the mm -hmm. due process second. Yeah, mm -hmm. we need to be held accountable for that. But you do not deserve to die in your bed in the middle of the night just because you were dealing drugs. And yeah. I'm not pro drugs. I am not some pot smoking hippie here in Appalachia going, you know, you know, I burned the reefer myself. No, not at all. That's not my point at all. Mm hmm. My point is she didn't deserve to die in a no-knock warrant. I know there's all sorts of guys already typing, well, it wasn't a no-knock warrant they knocked. Or they'll say, yeah, but it was part of an ongoing investigation. Yeah. I think someone, someone said that Brandon Tatum, Brandon Tatum, did I say Brandon? It's probably I said Brandon. Brandon. Oh, Brandon. He sounds like a good guy. Brand, yeah, Brandon Tatum. I think it's, he's Officer Tatum uh, on the YouTube said that it was not a no-knock warrant. Correct. Right. So I don't know which one's right. Was it not a no-knock? My understanding, it was not currently not a no-knock warrant. I haven't mm -hmm. watched Officer Tatum's video yet. Mm -hmm. However, in my feed today, because my video just went out live about an hour ago. Yeah, I was looking hey, at I'm, it. Good video. Like 50 people have already said, you've got to watch Officer Tatum. Got to watch it. So I'm giving secondary recommendation to the video. I'll watch it tonight after this show. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the but things – go ahead. Go regardless, ahead. Mm -hmm. she didn't deserve to die. Um. So here's the thing. Here's the thing that I think about this, and I try to tell people this all the time. When things come out there, we do talk about things right when they happen, right? We could be here on air right now. Something comes up. The folks start saying, oh, do you know this happened? We could go look it up. People could be telling us things. We're talking at that point. We don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, true. Like when the whiskey when the whiskey warrior thing happened up in up north and all of those people were going and it was like nine o'clock at night, ten o'clock at night, mm -hmm. and there was YouTubers that were like, Hey, this is, you know, direct infringement on his rights. Let's all drive up to New York and go after him. Yeah, it turned out about three days later, yeah, we probably shouldn't help that guy. He probably needed some help from some social workers mm -hmm. or from some therapists. But the your point is so valid, Hank, is mm -hmm. that it happens in real time. We're doing the best we can day by day by day. And we're watching this one with the ballistics reports that just came out. It looks like Kenneth Walker's 
his projectile hit nothing besides the wall. There was no blood on it. And it looks like maybe, maybe the one police officer that was shot in the thigh was Friendly Fire. Friendly Fire. Yeah. Yep. So, and Kenneth Walker was the boyfriend? He was the boyfriend. He yeah. shot one time mm-hmm. and he was arrested. He, he was sat there in handcuffs while mm-hmm. she died. She did not receive medical treatment for mm-hmm. over 20 minutes. And he was absolved of all wrongdoing, and he is back on the street, thankfully. Right. And, but, however, there is some charges pending against him, right? Because he may have actually been a drug dealer or something like that. Right. The narcotic stuff is going gonna, is gonna to stand, but as mm-hmm. far as shooting at a cop, no, he mm-hmm. didn't shoot at a cop. He defended yeah. himself. I, You know, and these are not people. People got so mad at me. Oh, Johnny, you're defending the thugs. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what is this, 1972 and you're dirty hairy going after the hoodlums? Yeah. Not at all. These, these are probably not people I would be friends with in real life. These are not yeah. my, you know, like probably not uh, people – I don't hang out with drug dealers, bottom yeah. line. But can we see can we see some complications in life? So first of all, let's look at it this way. She was a she was an EMT technician, right? Yes. Okay. So is it possible that she didn't know what her boyfriend was doing? It's also possible she knew what he was doing. I think but, I but, think this is this is just me. This uh-huh. is my guess. This is me talking. Mm-hmm. I think she was in on a drug ring. And okay. by, I don't think it was like some big mastermind where they were importing stuff from Russia. Mm-hmm. They they may have just been dealing dealing weed for all I know. Okay. Yeah. So. But, right. So no, you there's, there's all those different possibilities. So if the if the cops are going to get you. Why do they have to like? Why do they have to force their way in and all that kind of stuff? What you know? What what are they worried about? What are you gonna do? They I mean, maybe are, you could flush some stuff, I guess, down down the toilet or whatever, right? They but. tore the door off the hinges. Mm-hmm. They tore the door off the hinges mm-hmm. in the middle of the night. I think, and I say this a lot. They do this here. They did this here yesterday in my city. Mm-hmm. They don't get a kit up very often in smaller or medium sized cities. They get so excited about kitting up. They get so excited about using their pow pals. Mm -hmm. We had a suspicious package two days ago here in Johnson City, Tennessee. And Hank, you would have thought it was nuclear warfare down at the post office over a a package. We're talking bomb squad and robots and dogs. And, and the, the, I mean, everybody fire department was out there because they don't get to turn on the blue lights very often. I Mm -hmm. think it's also just their personalities. They want to tear the doors off the hinges of private citizens. Yeah. There's so many things. There's so many complications to this. I think we have too many laws, and and I, I think I agree with you, Johnny. I don't care for drugs. They don't care for me either, to be honest with you. So even if I was that kind of person that was into that kind of stuff, uh, those things don't honestly sit that well with me. I've never actually uh, tried uh, marijuana or anything like that, but I grew up. My dad, you know, I'm from the Caribbean, so that's good. I might. Yeah, that speaks for itself. <laughs> but I knew the smell of marijuana. Like, that was one of the first smells I ever remembered, you know? I mean, I grew up with, like, my dad smoking weed every single day, listening to Bob Marley and all that. So I get it. It's just a lot of things that my dad did. I don't, I I've, just don't have that desire to do those kinds of things. And I don't either. Dan hates you in the mm-hmm. comment section. Also, a big thank you to Dan hates you. He had a super chat for yep. for you there, Hank. Yeah, first. But he chat. said, "Hey, Johnny uh, hangs out with moonshine or doesn't hang out with moonshiners." Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't care what people put in their bodies. I don't think it's the government's job to monitor what we put in our bodies. No. I, I I really don't. And so I don't care if people smoke weed or don't smoke weed. No. I don't think people need yeah. to die in their beds over it. Yeah, and I also don't. I mean, there's we, you know, and we don't know, or unless you do, or it's in the reports. Like if these guys were trying to sell heavy drugs or whatever it is that, that they were doing, but narcotics I, is yeah. what it's, it's, it's what they're saying. I personally don't think that things like meth, crack, <laughs> whatever else out there should be illegal. We're criminalizing things and creating reasons to arrest people. Now, do I think you should be out there driving or doing something where you could take people's lives while you're high? No, I don't. And that's treat even, it like treat that's it like even, alcohol. Yeah, that's even marijuana, right? People say, oh, but you can't, you can't. Do anything bad while you're smoking weed. Uh, if you can't react fast enough, yeah, you can do some bad stuff. So, Dude. you know. Um, but the thing is, one, I think that we we're criminalizing too many things, and there there's definitely not proper training. There could have been a lot of different ways that they could have taken these guys out or gone about this that they didn't have to wind up uh, getting into a shootout. They did. It became it became a whole thing, 
and everyone's taking sides, everyone's trying to prove stuff. We were talking about Brandon Tatum, and one of the things I think with me is I try to be a balanced person, okay? Now, when I look at this social media thing that we both do, I see there's people out there that get really big by taking one extreme or the other, right? So me as a black guy, if I go just all super pro-black, nothing black people do is wrong, <laughs> you know, hate the white man, there's pe that I'm, I could blow up like that, right? There are people who will support that. If I go s all the way over to the opposite extreme of that and go all super white, oh, the white man's awesome, I could blow up doing that. Or if, you, if I go all the way over to conservatives, any conservative issue, I'm all the way over here. I'm going to, you know, forget these people. They're useless. They deserve to be shot or whatever. There's people who are going to love that. If I go every single shooting that happens, the cops are trying to kill us. You know, literally, I saw um, Megan Thee Stallion, the rapper, say the reason why she didn't report that her boyfriend shot her in the foot, which I don't really think, I, I don't think he shot her. I think he shot the ground. She got deflections, you know, something. She got hit with shrapnel. But she said she didn't report it because she was afraid that there were all these cops there and she was afraid if she did that, that they would just kill all of them. These, these are extreme that's ins nonsense. insanities. Yeah. yeah. That's we insanity. The whole yeah. the whole idea and it's a joke and it's a great joke. Uh, Red Fox did that same joke on Sanford and Son in the seventies, you know, just mm -hmm. joking about like when his son was headed out, you know, if you get pulled over, you know, be really cool or else you're going you're gonna die. And they did that on good times. And it's a joke. Mm -hmm. The the data is that the vast majority of police shootings, especially police shooting an unarmed person, mm -hmm. they're shooting white people. Um there's data either way, but your point is so valid, Hank, in that mm -hmm. if you would chase one of those extremes, your mm -hmm. growth pattern would be faster because chasing one extreme or the other mm -hmm. is what people follow. And it's controver It's funny that it's controversial for simply being in the middle, following the facts, having some logic, and not saying, you know what, I'm don't, I don't have to be one or the other. My friend Maj Touré, mm -hmm. he gets flack all the time because he will not go one direction or the other. And mm -hmm. people hit him hard because they expect him, because of the amount of melanin in his skin, mm -hmm. to be what they want him to be. And he refuses to fall into that box. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.